the house is now shut down early, a day early, failing to get even uh, out of committee and to the floor. This is not yeah, a good for your sign. Viewers. Yeah, for your viewers who aren't following this that closely, that's right. I mean, Speaker Mike Johnson tried to bring up a really important appropriations bill today. It was going to fund the Department of Commerce, the Department of Justice, also science activities for our country. And hardline Republicans uh, who were upset that the Speaker had been working with Democrats to keep government open, uh, they torpedoed it. They made it so that we could not even bring that bill to the floor for debate. It's incredibly unfortunate, and I think it shows that we've got some folks who are not not as emotionally mature as we need them to be right now. So let's talk about the tensions on Capitol Hill. Former Speaker McCarthy is now accused of elbowing Republican Congressman Tim Burchett yesterday on the Hill. McCarthy denying it. Listen to Burchett yesterday. Come on, I'll take a, I'll take a polygraph test and have Kevin take a polygraph test. It's just a little different the way people react in Tennessee than they do in California. In Tennessee, if you've got a problem with somebody, you take it to them face to face. I guess in Southern California, where he's from, you, you take a cheap shot at somebody from behind. You have $17 million in a security detail and you'll still be a bully. Is this acceptable behavior? Uh, number one, I don't know what happened. Uh, I would, uh, I don't think this was, uh, if people are imagining that the former Speaker of the House punched a guy in the face, no. It seems as though there might have been some jostling in the hallways, and I don't know if McCarthy elbowed him on the way by or not. I do think it's unfortunate that we're going to spend two days, and I, Tim Burch has probably done 50 national interviews on this topic. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, government uh, shutdowns looming uh, for January 19th and February 2nd. Meanwhile, we got a southern border in crisis and meanwhile uh, the house uh, is unable to advance even the most basic important legislation i try to keep my eye on the real prize the important work we need to be doing and there was another very tense moment on the senate side at a hearing chaired by bernie sanders when a fight almost broke out literally between Sen uh, another senator uh, who is a former mma fighter mark wayne mullen of Oklahoma and the president of the team news to the teamsters you did who was a witness. The two had been in a tiff recently on social media. Well here's some of what happened at that Senate hearing. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults, we can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh hold on. Oh, oh stop it. Is that your solution every poll? No, no, sit down. Sorry, Eric, sit down. Look at you. You know, you're a United States senator. I you're focused you. on Why debate you that's not even mind? relevant. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. Well, look, after an embarrassment. Is Bernie Sanders to the rescue. I mean, I know that's the Senate side, not the House. Usually the Senate is more acceptable behavior than the House. I'll admit to being a bit surprised when you're significantly right of center like I am, uh, a true conservative. I'm not used to saying that Bernie Sanders is the voice of reason in any room, but I do think uh, Chairman Sanders is right to try to de-escalate the situation. Uh, Andrew, this is the bigger problem. We have a system right now that, that incentivizes bad behavior. Uh, we want people who are angry, who are rage-filled, who howl at the moon. Somehow we've gotten into our mind that when people are uh, that much more toxic or that much louder, that that means they're working hard. Of course, that's balderdash. The reality is that running a government uh, requires the same things that uh, managing a marriage or managing a nonprofit or a business or a church do. That is thoughtful, analytical discourse, building coalitions, trying to find the truth. It almost never requires two folks coming to blows at a workplace. Now, I'm into that. Let me ask you finally about China, because you're on the select committee. Mike Gallagher is the chair of that. And what are your hopes coming out of this summit in the West Coast today? I know President Biden wants to try to de-escalate a little bit uh, with Xi Jinping. I don't. I, I think we need to be honest about the tension that is naturally going to exist with the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, there are no values of the values of the Chinese Communist Party with the values of America. I'm not seeking a hot war with China. I'm not seeking a cold war with China. But I think we want to make sure that our attempts that we don't drift into trying to curry favor with Xi Jinping. This guy is a tyrant. And I think we need to be clear that this is an important strategic competition. We will continue to fight for a rules-based international order that uh, does not uh, cater at all to the CCP.